you start feeling warm, like a blanket around you. And, you know, people fill it up with a lot of music a lot. I see. Sweet. <laughs> that was beautifully stated. <laughs> oh, Hannah Rice Thompson? <laughs> <laughs> Take Back the Universe and Give Me Yesterday, the major label debut for uh, Creep of the Goon drops this Tuesday, the 17th. That is a major record. On Dream major record. This is this record is the hugest, the hugest record I think you could buy, possibly. April 17th, if you buy this record, it'll be so, it won't even fit in your bag when you're trying to take it out of the store, you know. They, you know, and it's cheap, too. They're probably selling it for like two bucks. Yeah. So buy ten of them. <laughs> We're going to hear a couple more acoustic tracks tonight. Also, Creeper Lagoon, you guys are going to play some uh, guest DJ action. You guys have brought some cool records in, Refused and Spoon. And also, we're going to hear Brand New Weezer. Yeah. yeah. Brand New Weezer on Live 105. It's one of the best songs. Refused. Ah, I love that track. From the Soundcheck Vault tonight, Live 105. That was like the number two song of 1999. Good choice, guys. Creeper Lagoon in the studio, picking that track tonight, playing a little guest DJs in the studio. What's he saying at the end there? Not guilty or die so pig? Godzuki? <laughs> I don't know what he's not, saying, man. Not Let's guilty. put it back on. Hold on. I don't know, man. I was talking over it. I, I, I yeah, where's where he from? Tragically, uh, Refused uh, broke up. Now they're, they've reformed as a, an outfit called International Noise Conspiracy on Epitaph as well. But not as good. I mean, Refused. That, that one record was just yeah. so incredible. And I was telling you guys a story that I saw the video at 120 minutes. The next day, I call up Epitaph. I say, I have to have this Refused record. I'd never heard of him before. And my Epitaph rep is like, that's so weird, Aaron. You just called. Gavin from Bush just called five minutes ago asking for a the record and no he doesn't have an assistant like i was saying yeah, i thought gavin would have his own personal assistant his own hey, workout do you, do you, trainer do you know that dude at all what's that have you, have you talked to him before yeah i've talked is to him he cool he's all right do you think i could beat him up? he likes refuse so I, I think that's pretty cool he earns bonus points there cool points there i don't know i think he has an assistant i think he does have an assistant. that'd be a pretty big fight though <laughs> i bet you jordan could help jump shot all right, sound check in the studio tonight. Local band Creeper Lagoon. Their album comes out this Tuesday. What a coincidence! You guys happen to be in the studio tonight. And your album comes out on uh, on Tuesday. This is a shameless uh, Two days proposal, yeah. promotional effort from Creeper Lagoon. We heard Weezer back there as well. Brand new Weezer world premiere on Soundcheck tonight. It's called Hash Pipe from Weezer. The album, the Green album, drops on May fifteenth. What do you guys think of Weezer? Yeah. It's incredible. We were talking about off the air that like Weezer have sort of reached like cult status. Like, they're bigger now than they ever were, even when they're releasing albums. They went on this hiatus and came back. Both the both the Weezer records are charting top 100 now, and they sold out show a couple months ago uh, at uh, the Civic. So who would have thunk it? I know. You did. I can't. When Dave, our drummer, Thank was 14, <laughs> he played with Rivers. Thank you very much, Ian, for interviewing. We, Creeper Lagoon, has connection with Weezer. We're set up in the studio to play acoustically, so uh, Dave back there on drums doesn't have a microphone. He's out there, I don't know what the hell he's talking about, but I'm sure it's uh, riveting, okay? Thumbs up. Thanks. Well, you know, Dave's really short, so it sounds like that in real life, too. It's <laughs> real far from the ear. Oh, this is an you know that? You're in trouble. Next time I get... It's Live 105, sound check. Live 105's weekly new music show, Sunday nights, 8 to 10, busting out two hours of brand new music in the studio with me right now from San Francisco local band Creeper Lagoon, hanging out, he's doing a fine job so far, very impressed, playing uh, track selections off their forthcoming album, Take Back the Universe and Give Me Yesterday, which drops this Tuesday, and also playing guest DJ, the track you just heard from Austin's finest, the band Spoon, off uh, the Soft Effects EP on Matador Records. Also, we heard the Donnas back there, local uh, band, the Donnas from Palo Alto, 40 Boys in 40 Nights, Juliana Theory coming to Bottom of the Hill, Thursday, April 19th, off the Emotion is Dead album, which is a, an incredible record as well. I got to check that out on Tooth and Nail Records, and uh, the track was Understand the Dream is Over. All right, I'm Aaron Axelson, host of the show, and Disco Sean, my producer, helping me out behind the scenes. We're going to play another acoustic track, or I'm not going to. The Creeper Lagoon is going to play another acoustic track. Can I join in? I can, like, yeah. clap and shake my ass in the background or something. Yeah, sure. Um, we're going to do that before uh, the conclusion of tonight's show. 
coming up around 10 o'clock. We'll play it. Probably uh, Wrecking Ball. So right now we're going to play Cut Off the Album as well, um, which I really like. Track number nine. Is that cool? So, hey, sister. That's a jam. I love this. How, um... How did you guys, I'm going to ask you, how did you guys end up getting hooked up with uh, the mighty DreamWorks record label? How did that whole thing come into fruition? Well, we had an A&R guy who a couple years ago uh, bought one of our singles at the record store, believe it or not. Just That's to, how it all happened? Yeah, and uh, he sent a letter, and that was kind of the uh, inspiration to make it into a real band. So, uh, and then I, me and him kind of fell in love and, uh, yeah. there was some sexual Have you ever, activities, but <laughs> then there was a record. I there. see, I see. What advice would you give to, uh, local bands out there that are st touring and doing all the, uh, the necessary things to try to get their music out there? And well, that's the thing. You do the necessary things. That's the trick to it. And, and if you do it for more than five years and nothing happens and you're sad, then stop. Then quit. But if you're doing it and you're happy... Uh, so, you know, whatever, it doesn't matter. They rec major label records are just, you know, they come and go. Don't, don't, don't shape your, your career around them. Now, Make I mean, your career happen by yourself. First. You guys have done, I think, a textbook uh, job as far as where you've gotten right now to this point, coming out with your major label debut. You've, you've toured around. You've uh, played the indie circuit, the local band circuit. You've released a couple records on independent labels. Uh, you, you guys released a record with uh, Dust Brothers as well. Uh -huh. And uh, and now here we are. They're on the uh, eve of your uh, debut record dropping. We put in the work, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's great. And you guys have played around, and developed a fan base. Your fans out there calling into radio stations, demanding their Creeper Lagoon. So, <laughs> and here we are. All right, let's uh, let's uh, live 105 sound check. Brand new Jimmy Eat World. Old demo from uh, Jimmy Eat World's gonna be coming out when uh, they finally sign their big record deal. Jimmy Eat World with sweetness. All right, you've been listening to Soundcheck every Sunday night, eight to ten, right before Love Line. Two hours of new music. I've been your host, Aaron Axelson. Special thanks to producer tonight, Disco Sean, for trying to uh, keep things organized yeah, here tonight. Sean, Sean kick-ass job. We had a band in the studio as well. For just tuning in, Creeper Lagoon, the album "Take Back the Universe" and "Give Me Yesterday." Go out and buy it on Tuesday. You won't be disappointed. It's a fantastic record. Congratulations! Thank you so much again for coming in tonight. I am Sharky Dan and Dave Creeper Lagoon. Final thoughts? I want to give a shout out to uh, someone or whatever, whatever you want to do as we depart right now on the show. Say what's up to all our boys on the east side and uh, all our homies on the west side. Okay, very good. Also, I want to thank you guys for playing our Live 105 Spring Break Explosion out at, at Marine World on Wednesday with New Found Glory. I like that one guy who was the, uh, the roller coaster conductor, whatever his name was. He had a... Um, Ronnie, Ronnie Stinson. Well, that was his name. He called you guys... He announced you guys as Creepy Lagoon. I thought it was really cool. I liked his uh, mullet head and his Oakley blades. He looked pretty badass. So special shout-out to him, okay? If you guys are going to do a shout-out, I'll do it for you, okay? Okay. The, and all the security staff at Marine World, the uh, rent -a mall cops, they were great, doing a fantastic job as well. Thank you so much, guys, for coming in. No problem, Aaron. We will do it whenever you want us to do it. In, in, in a big way, and we're gonna go and you're really get it. All right, let's do it. Creeper Lagoon, we're gonna take you out into Love Line, an acoustic version of uh, the single Wrecking Ball Live 105. Thank you again so much for coming in.